coming from Mumbai. Today, I would like to speak to you, not only as the founder and general director of Mumbai Smiles, but also as a COVID-19 patient myself, who luckily recovered very recently. Um, I think there's nothing to add that uh, you haven't watched on, on the news about the terrible and terrible situation we have faced and we are still facing here in India because of this second wave of the pandemic. More than 400,000 cases and 4,000 deaths per day. People literally uh, dying at the gates of the hospitals. The whole country running out of oxygen. Two and three patients per bed. Doctors, nurses and the whole population overall overloaded by sorrow, pain and suffering. We have lost many dear ones among our team members, friends and families. And we have been, and we, are, we still are, very, very sad. From the starting of the, of the second wave, we, uh, we set a strategy based on constant and, and direct uh, touch and contact with uh, different hospitals. Some of them we have collaborated with before. And, uh, and with them, we were discussing every day the main requests, the main needs at that particular moment. Some of, the, some of these hospitals were uh, the uh, COVID Jumbo Center at BKC, by the way, the second largest Jumbo uh, COVID hospital in the world, Zion Hospital, Mitanagar Quarantine Center, Nair Church Table Hospital, and Holy Spirit Hospital. It would be for me impossible, or maybe it would take like a whole day for me to list the exact, uh, to list the exact materials that we had to purchase. I'm sure that somehow we will be able to, to give the detail about, uh, about them to all of you. But maybe if I had to highlight some of them, it would be uh, more than 1,000 beds for quarantine centers, not only in Mumbai, but also in other places of the state in, uh, of Maharashtra. Uh, 10 monitors for ICUs, 15 oxygen concentrators, BPAP machines, medicines, and also we wanted to make sure that all the staff, doctors, nurses, was very much protected in those hospitals. So that's why we purchased also more than 9,000 uh, N95 masks and a lot of PP kits to ensure that at least during uh, their very hard hours of work, they were protected. But among all this material, that we were able to purchase, thanks to all of you, by the way. Maybe the saddest item we had to was 1,000 body bags. We are very sad because we know that behind each bag, there's a person with name and surname, a family destroyed, devastated, who still today is in sorrow and suffering. We don't want to repeat it. We don't want to live these days again at all. And we think, we are convinced that, we strongly believe that the only way to stop this as soon as possible is massive vaccination. After uh, two months and a half, more or less, uh, quarantined because of these uh, two COVIDs, I sadly had in, 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 in the last period. Um, finally, I could go again to the community. I could, uh, as I usually do, I could uh, talk to the families, I could reach uh, to different areas we work uh, with and for. And uh, I'm in shock. I'm in shock with the extreme lack of awareness. Not precisely among our main beneficiaries, because with them we have been able to, to conduct uh, during the last year an awareness uh, and constant uh, work, but also of other family members in other communities or in the same communities. You won't believe that, but some of them even weren't aware about the fact that there's a vaccine 
through COVID-19. Others, in more terrible cases, also thought that the mask, the mandatory mask, was something because of pollution. They even didn't know there was a pandemic called COVID-19 because of this virus. Um, as a lot of you know, we have a system of getting registered for vaccination here in India that consists in, in, in downloading an app or getting registered online. But we strongly believe as well that, that there are a lot of families illiterate, uh, not having not only connections, but even light, uh, electricity in their homes. Um, and for them, it's impossible to get registered. And I'm not only talking about the awareness, but also to have the tools to, to, to reach that vaccination. And uh, that's the reason uh, behind our firm decision of from now onwards uh, to dedicate uh, ourselves absolutely our whole team and also a group of volunteers by the way you are very welcome to to join us if you are in in mumbai uh, that will start going door by door community by community even though those communities we don't cover we don't usually work with we will go there and ensure that family by family citizen by citizen gets registered to receive the vaccination we want to stop the constant work with the hospitals. Of course, we will still need, because there's still the need of, of purchasing more material. We need to be prepared as well for a third wave everyone is talking about and supposedly, as per some international experts, uh, will hit India by October or even before and will supposedly affect children. We need to be prepared. We need to purchase more material and we need to conduct as soon as possible this daily approach to communities door by door to make sure that everyone gets vaccinated. We are doing this because of uh, thanks to your help and uh, we are very, very grateful. And uh, also I, I would say a little bit emotional as well because it, it is coming from different places in the world. So for that reason, Thank you very much. Dilse Dan Abad. Merci beaucoup. Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Dankeschön. Thank you.